Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering. Times are definitely changing. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this upcoming NFL draft, we see an unfamiliar scene. We see that for the first time in the last couple of decades, the New England Patriots have the number three overall pick. And this is the highest pick that we've seen the Patriots have in some time since coach, I mean, since owner Robert Kraft has had the team. You're seeing a model of consistency, whether it be from playoff berths, whether it be from AFC East championship banners, whether it be Super Bowls. It's been a number of things that the Patriots have been doing the last 20 plus years. So you got to think in mind, this is a new era. With with Gerard Mayo going from player, playing linebacker from Coach Belichick, to now you're looking at Gerard Mayo, the coach. What's going to be the foreseeable f- future for them? Is Zappi in the future for the Patriots? Probably. Probably not. You know, you got to ask yourself, is Mac Jones in the future for the Patriots? The media future or, or would I use this pick on, a, on somebody else, on a quarterback? You know, what is the destination for the Patriots in this year's draft? What is the obligations for them? What are they going to try to do with their draft? What are they going to do with their scouting department? What are they going to do? It's a whole new world for the Patriots, and everything essentially is brand new. So the Patriots have wasted no time in in crafting, if you will, you know, their new successor, which is Rob Mayo. So I'm going to ask this question. What way should they go? Should they go with a quarterback, number three overall? I know you have Drake May possibly there. They could possibly trade up for Caleb Williams. Uh, You have LSU's quarterback, the Heisman winner, Jaden Daniels. You have a lot of different things you can do. But what should the Patriots do with this pick? To me, I think they should go quarterback. I think that you have enough talent in this draft to draft a guy high enough. You don't have to sacrifice anything. And when it's all said and done, you got to really go after it. Because if you don't, you're in, you're essentially going to end up where you don't want to be. You're essentially going to end up where you could have been. You know, you look at how valuable everything is. You look how, you know, how bad the season ended. You didn't have a quarterback. You didn't have anybody to throw the ball down the field that you trusted that you could keep in line. Mac Jones was benched for the last six games. Zappi didn't look like a pro quarterback. At times he threw good. At times he didn't. So you got to think. You put your defense in harm's way because... All you did was put them on the field time after time. And now we're here with the number three overall pick. After Tom Brady left and he won a Super Bowl in Tampa, here we are again. Drafting higher and higher. No playoffs. And you got to think, the playoff drought has is, is gotten a year longer. So now that Bill's out the door, what's the excuse going to be? Are you rebuilding? How many years is it going to take? It's so many different things, so many different questions that riders have. But at this point in time, I think the Patriots need to draft a quarterback. Draft your successor. You're going to have your pick because I feel like only two quarterbacks are going to be off the board by then. I feel like May is going to be off the board and Caleb Williams is going to be off the board. You could go wide receiver if you want to. You could go quarterback if you want to. You could possibly pay somebody free agency. So there's a number of things you can do if you're the Patriots. So I think it's your money is on a quarterback, but, hey, that's just my thought. All you Patriots fans, get in the comment section. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus. All you NFL fans, same thing. Leave your comments, and we'll see you on the very next video.